One of the biggest challenges of artificial intelligence that still persists and how solving that problem has the potential to disrupt several industries across the globe. And I want to start out with scoping the problem a little bit. So let me start here. Do you know where to best install an HVAC system in your home? Or do you know how an adjuster does a bottom-up estimate when you have a damage in your property? Or for that matter, how an insurance carrier is um, you know, creating a good risk model, a fair risk model to underwrite your property and come up right with the right premium. Or how Airbnb at scale determines whether a property is accessible uh, by people with disabilities. You know, I could easily come up with 20 other use cases and more. And all of them have the same underlying problem. They all require built specific spatial understanding. And that can be assessed by a human expert or a complex vision algorithm. Yet large enterprises, I mentioned insurance use cases, like insurance carriers, right, employ thousands of human experts. Mm. Yet experts are scarce and, you know, bringing, <laughs> training newbies on the job usually comes at the expense of a customer. So bridging the world, the gap between the physical and the virtual environment, the built environment, at scale, is still one of the hardest challenges in artificial intelligence today. Let's dive into this. Why is this so complicated? Well, most of the world is still captured in 2D. You know, we all capture images and videos every day. Yet, if you look into objects, they present themselves in three dimensions. They have, you know, they have complex sizes, textures, and materials associated with them, forms associated with them that makes them hard to analyze. Mm. The models that exist today really are not very good in understanding the physical environment. And the interaction of uh, objects in the physical space is so much more complex than what we can simulate right now in a virtual environment. So how do we close this loop, right? Well, simply spoken, we create foundational models that contain built expertise to create spatial, a spatial understanding just based on video or images. And we integrate that spatial understanding into existing workflows and systems of large enterprises. Let me give you a specific example around that. Has anybody ever experienced a disaster or something like a simpler water damage and needed to file a claim? Pleasant experience, right? Let's make this tangible for everyone. So let's assume yeah, you just experienced a sump pump damage at home. You've just renovated your basement, right? And your entire basement is flooded. Your kids' toys are destroyed and you're desperately calling your insurance carrier and you're hoping that some pumps are insured by them. Well, today is your lucky day. Let's assume they are insured. Well, what the carrier is going to tell you is that you are supposed to call a contractor uh, that mitigates your property, right? So here comes the contractor. They rip out the carpet, they grip out some drywall, everything that is soaked, right? The toys of the kids get thrown out because they cannot be recovered and everything that's recoverable ends up in your living room. Uh, and then they tell you, well, you need to wait a couple of days, you need to dry everything, right, and call your insurance carrier because they need to pay you so that you can bring in another contractor to repair your home. And so how does the carrier know what to owe you? How do you pay, like, how do they know how much you have to pay to the uh, contractor? Well, now you call the carrier again and you tell them what the contractor just told you, right? And they tell you, well, we need to send an adjuster to you. Next adjuster is available in a couple of days, if not weeks. They come between 8 and 3, and let's face it, most of the time it's then 4.30, so you lost another day here. Maybe you took a day off to make that possible. And, well, after a couple of weeks, your home might be recovered. You have no money right now to repair your home, nor to buy new toys for your kids. Pleasant experience again. So imagine that. Imagine 
you, you call your carrier, right? And you tell them what's happening. And your carrier is telling you, well, I can send a link to your phone. And you receive that link, you click on that link. And the link guides you to just capture the space with the damage, right? And that data now gets processed by a foundation model. And all that data gets plugged into the systems that a carrier is using today to write an estimate and set it a claim in 24 hours and less. So you have the money the next day. Wouldn't that be mind blowing? So not only do you now have a better user experience, but the carrier is saving a ton of money by settling this claim faster. Because there's a correlation between the time it takes to close the damage or to close the claim and sub the, the um, you know, occurrence of subsequent damages. So with that, AI actually allows America to stay in short. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the technical aspect of it. What do we need here to estimate a damage? A couple of things. One, you need to understand the damage itself, right, and its severity to understand are there structural impacts or not. The other piece is you need to understand what's affected by the damage. You need to understand the materials. You need to understand the structures and objects affected. And eventually, you need to understand the associated measurements to derive the right tasks and quantities associated with this damage. Come up with a good estimate. This requires advanced generative spatial computer vision to create a human-like perception of the space. We call that spatial AI. So if you think about this, and think about all these use cases that I mentioned in the beginning, and understand that these are solvable today, imagine forward what else can be solved through artificial intelligence. Just imagine about the nuances you experience day by day, right? From small things to really major things like discrimination, and how you could contribute to solve these problems through artificial intelligence, right? And the problem I've outlined here helps companies, large industry companies, to say, become 10x more efficient and save hundreds, if not billions of dollars, hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, and allow them to make their products accessible to everyone. Join me in solving the hard problems in AI today to change the world for the better. Thank you very much.